As you can see, this is a pretty tough obstacle to get up. Loose sand, gnarly rocks. Likelihood of us getting up without assistance is not great, but we're going to give it a go. As we expected, we didn't get very far. We may be up halfway. This wheel's on maximum articulation. All the others are uh, loose as well, as, as far as we're going to go without the bush winch. Good morning, Patrick Verbeek from Bush Winches and Anchors. I invented the bush winch and we've come to this site to demonstrate to you the bush winch in action. We've got some very tough scenarios, soft sand, gnarly rocks, we've got to get up them and in the process I hope to be able to show you exactly how the bush winch works. As you can see, hopelessly bogged, that's a vertical step, the back wheels are spinning. We're going to go forward, but in a real life situation and not for demonstration purposes, the most sensible thing to do is probably to go back and perhaps try another line. But that's not going to give us a chance to show the bush winch at its best, so we'll go ahead in this case. Every recovery situation is going to be different. We've got to establish an anchor and we've got a number of options in the bush winch recovery system. Assess the situation and in this case we believe the best way to go is to use the bridle. I'll now show you how to set that bridle up. This is one of the trees we're going to use on top of the hill. That's the other tree we're going to use the bridle on. We've set up the bridle and on that tree we put a tree trunk protector on just to make sure we don't damage that tree and the line runs across to the other tree. This side of the bridle is connected. Now I'll show you how to run the winch lines to the bridle. I'm just going to show you the bush winch kit that we're going to use to recover this vehicle. The bush winch itself, one attached to each rear wheel, the bush winch winch line and the guides also one attached to each of the front wheels. The wheel nuts are already on, they're on permanently. We'll now just attach the bush winch to them. Simple as that. I've now come to the front of the vehicle and I'm going to attach the rope guides to the front wheels. You can see the guide has a swivel action. This wheel is hopelessly bogged, so I'm just gonna shift some of the sand so I can attach the guide. There you go. I'm gonna show you how we attach the winch rope and take it up to the bridle and back to the other side of the vehicle. Take it through the guide first, back to the winch, and all you need to do to attach the rope to the winch is put a couple of wraps on it, just so that you've got enough friction for it to hold once it takes the load. I've come up to the bridle and I'm just now going to show you how we put the pulley onto the bridle. No knots, very easily done. Like so. Take the winch line through that pulley and across to the second pulley that we put already in line. And now back to the other side of the vehicle. Everything's set up. Um, the driver is now going to go in the vehicle. He's going to engage low range first gear, take up the slack in the line, and use the bush winch to get himself out of this predicament.
Okay, the driver's in the vehicle. He's put it in first gear, and now he's going to take up the strain. How easy was that? Another effortless pull up to the top of the hill by the bushwinch.